Hello students, Chapter 1, Network Fundamentals. Now the topic is Topology. Mainly Topology is uh, the graphical representation of our network. If you want to draw physically on paper or somewhere, uh, how our network is make or means uh, how the devices and the links are connected in our network. Then we can draw the graphs or the picture of that one physical on a paper. That is a topology. Okay, let's go in detail. Topology, topology refers to the way in which a network is laid out physically. Means that I already told you that topology of a network is a geometrical representation of the relationship of all the links and the linking devices. To one another like uh, now we have a network like this one is our device one this one is our device two this one is our device number three device number four how they are connected to one another now we can draw this diagram like this one and we can say our diagram showing us the geometrical representation of the relationship of all these links and these devices how they are connected to each other we also call them as knots. Sometimes, sometimes we call them hosts, or sometimes we call them as machine. Okay. Now, mainly, basically, we have these type of topology. In these, mass topology, bus topology, ring topology, and star topology. These are the four basic topologies. These are four basic topologies. And this hybrid topology is the combination of these basic topologies means you can say by combining two or three basic topologies we can make a hybrid topology let's discuss them one by one in detail first of all we will go for the mass topology in mass topology you see in the diagram every device has a dedicated point to point link to every other device here you see this one is the node number one this one is node number two node number three node number five and node number five now these five nodes are connected to each other with a point to point link you can see the node one is directly have a point to point connection with node number two node number one have direct point to point connection with node number three as well with node number four as well as with node number five means you Dedicated link. Dedicated link means the link carries the traffic only between the two devices each connects. Okay. So to make a mass topology, you see, we need more hardware. We need more number of links. So let's check how many number of links we require to make a mass topology with n number of nodes. Okay. Let's see. We have n number of nodes. Now let's we have n nodes. This one is the node number one, this one is the node number two, node number three, node number four, and node number five. Okay, so to find the number of physical links in a fully connected mass topology, or you can say mass network with n nodes, we first consider each node must be connected to each other node. Let's see the node number one is connected to all n minus one nodes. Same as this, node number 2 is also connected with all n minus 1 nodes. Same, node number 3, node number 4, and finally, the node number n must be connected with remaining n minus 1 nodes. Means, first node with n minus 1 nodes, second node is also with n minus 1 nodes, third node is also with n minus 1 nodes. Same way, the final nth node is also connected with n minus 1 nodes. Means finally, if we see, we required n into n minus 1 physical links, n into n minus 1 physical links to connect n node in a mass network. But if our physical links allow communication in both directions simultaneously, means you can say the duplex modes. Maybe the half duplex mode or maybe the full duplex mode. Then we need to divide the number of links by two because both are sharing the same link. Okay, so that's why it became 
n into n minus 1 by 2 number of physical link. This is when we consider our link as a duplex mod link. Okay, means in a mass topology, we can say we need n into n minus 1 by 2 physical links n into n minus 1 by 2 physical links. This question was asked in many exams. This was asked in gate exam as well as ISRO exam in NILET, in UGC NET. In different exams, the question was repeated so many times. How many physical links are required in a mass network? So n into n minus 1 by 2 physical links are required to make a complete or you can say the fully connected mass network. Now see the next important point regarding the mass topology is how many number of input output ports are required to connect each device with the remaining n minus 1 nodes. Okay. Here we will take this one as a device or node and we will see how many number of input output ports here are required to connect this node with another node. In the later, later uh, last point we discussed, for a node we need n minus 1 number of links to connect other n minus 1 nodes. And for every link we need a input output port. I Means for every link we need a input output port to transfer the data in both the action means you are sending the data or receiving the data we need an input output port so the, for the first this one is connected with this device here is the port for the second link we need a second port for the third we need a third port and for the fourth we need a fourth port means for one device for one node we need n minus 1 input output ports to connect this node with remaining n minus 1 nodes. In the same way, total number of ports are required to connect n devices are n into n minus 1 input output ports. Input output ports means for one device, for one device we need n minus 1 input output port. For total number of ports means for n nodes we need total n into n minus 1 by n minus 1 input output ports okay here every device on the network must have n minus 1 input output ports in total we need n into n minus 1 input output ports okay to, to connect the mass topology so these are the two important points related to the mass network we discussed first of all how many number of physical links are required second point is how many number of input output ports are required now if we discuss about the sum of the advantage or disadvantage of the mass topology you see every device has a dedicated point to point link with every other device means first important advantage is that provides us a privacy as well as security because of this dedicated point to point link security as well as the privacy second point is means if any link is bridge between any two devices the communication is still possible due to some other route for example let's see if this link is bridge between these two devices then the communication is possible through the alternate route like this one or it may be possible through this route means your communication is possible 100 percent communication is not depend only on the dedicated point to point link means mass topology provide us the robustness or the reliability robustness and the or you can say the reliability third point if this one link is bridge here we can easily identify if the message is not going through this dedicated link, is this link is bridge between the devices. Means easy fault identification. We can easily identify any fault is happen in the network. Fault identification. Now, 
we also discuss some of the disadvantages okay let's analyze the disadvantage from yourself first of all after that discuss that now we discuss here the one important point dedicated point to point this link also have some of the disadvantages if this one is provide us the robustness or the security price this will also gives us the particular disadvantage also because of this one more number of hardware is required and because of this more hardware our cost is also expensive means cost is more second thing if a link is breached so installation and reconnection is also a problem installation and reconnection is also become a problem okay this way we can say our mass topology provide us some of the disadvantages with this particular dedicated point to point connection method so uh, if we discuss about where we use this mass topology the use of the mass topology okay in the uh, later uh, past times in the uh, past 1990s or 2000 we see we uh, in our homes we had the landline phones one wire connect our home telephone to the pole of the network and from that pole that a wire is connected that pole to the regional office local regional office and that local regional office is also connected with other regional offices means we can say the mass topology is used in the telephone connection in the old time telephone networks telephone networks to connect the regional offices regional offices okay needs to connect every other regional office so in the past time uh, we were using that mass topology to make our telephone network a robust or make the, our telephone communication effective communication okay now let's go for some question this is the question for practice now assume we have six devices are arranged in a mass topology okay we have six devices let's see this is device number one this is device number two device number three four five and Six devices are connected in a mass network. Okay, let's connect them. One is connected to two, one is connected to three, four, five, and six. Two is connected with one already, three, four, five, and six. Three connected with one directly with two, four, five, and six. Four have a that already have a connection with one, two, and three. Now five and now six. Five have connection with one, two, three, four and make tension with six now six have a direct tension with one two three four and five now this is a mass network with the six devices now first question is how many cables are needed how many cables are needed so we know a formula about that one for the physical link or for the number of cables we have direct formula that is n into n minus 1 by 2 that puts the value of n and here is equal to 6 6 into 6 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 6 into 5 by 2 means 15 links we required total let's count them from your side okay we will find that total 15 links are required or physical cables are required to make a mass topology with six devices now the question number b how many ports are needed for each device for each device means for a single device how many number of ports are required we already know for the one not we need n minus one input output ports n minus one input output ports so for one device we need six minus one means five ports are required for one device and if asked about the total number of ports in the network then we will go for n into n minus one number of input output ports okay here the answer is if asked for the total numbers uh, in any other question then you please remember the formula now six into five means we require 30 input output ports in total to make this network 
so we see 15 physical links are required 30 number of ports input output ports are required means this one is a expensive mass network okay let's discuss the second one second topology is the star topology in star topology we have a central controller which is the main controller of the complete network here each device has a dedicated point to point link to the central controller usually called hub we also use sometimes here switch also hub or the switch hub switch outer gateway these all are networking devices okay to make uh, to connect our networks our devices or make any any type of a, uh, energy uh, reconstruction in the cable okay here let's discuss hub is a device second this one is connected to hub Second device is also connected to hub, third and fourth. Now all the devices are directly connected to this hub with a cable. Means to connecting N devices, to connect N nodes, we need N minus 1 cable or links. Why N minus 1? Here, this hub is also considered as a device of the network, part of the network. So we also count this one is also a device or node in the network because the star topology is controlled by only and only this controller okay so these are four devices plus one five so how many number of cables are required five minus one equal to four links you already see in this particular star topology now for each device okay for each device Needs only one physical link and number of input output port. The input output port is required for every device in the hub. Hub have uh, ports in it to connect the devices. So for one device, we need one input output port. So for n nodes, we need, or you can write here the links, n nodes, we need n minus, sorry. N minus one input output ports. Okay, here we need totally five devices combined with the device. So five minus four means four input output ports are required here. Okay. Each device needs only one physical link and one input output port to connect to any number of other devices in the network through the central controller. The central controller may be the hub or maybe the switch. Okay, so as compared to the mass topology, what are the advantage you analyze here? The advantage here, first advantage is means less expensive because less number of cables are required as compared to the mass topology. Second advantage is easy to install, means just connect a cable and a port to the central controller and your device is becoming the part of the network okay okay with this one we also have some disadvantage we also have some disadvantage what are the disadvantage one main disadvantage is the central controller if the central controller is breaks then the complete network is if this hub breaks down the complete network is vanished the complete network become that so this is the main disadvantage in this star topology okay where we use this one we use the star topology in making LAN networks local area networks okay used in the local area networks the next topology is the ring topology in the ring topology also we follow the point to point connection ring topology each device has a dedicated point to point connection with only the two devices. Let's see, this is the ring cable. This is a ring cable we have in our network. This is the ring cable. And through this ring cable, our devices are connected in this way. In this way. Here, each device in the ring incorporates a repeater. This repeater is used to regenerate the signal because when the uh, signal is uh, uh, traveling through a long cables the energy of the signal is goes down 
okay to reconstruct that energy up to that level that was uh, uh, that the signal have when you that signal was originated the, to we use the repeaters we use the repeater okay regenerates the bits and passing them along with the ring now here we see now this device is only connected with its either side of the neighbors means each device has a dedicated point to point connection with only the two devices on either side of it the device will communicate only with its neighbor both side neighbors the left side as well as the right side this device does not know or the node does not know how much long is the ring how many devices are the part of the ring topology network it does not care about that only and only communicate with its neighbors okay a signal this way we can make a ring topology here a signal is passing through the ring signal is passing along the ring in one direction from device to device until it reaches destination now this message we see this message is passed in this way in this ring and pass device to device pass device to device this device accept the packet message this packet belong to this particular node accept it otherwise pass the packet or the message to the ring in the forward direction okay same as this let's see an example to understand this properly now for example we have this device number 1 device number 2 3 4 5 and 6 here the device number 1 send one thing message to node number 5 so it read generate the message and pass to the ring now device number 2 see the message this message have both devices the send destination address destination address sender address and the message now this to message reach to device number 2 or node number 2 see the address destination address of the message or the package if this message is belongs to node number 2 accept otherwise pass to the forward direction now to see the message here the destination address for the node number 5 and sender address is node number 1 node belongs to 2 forward it now the packet reaches to node number 3 node belongs to 3 forward it node belongs to 4 forward it reaches to 5 see destination number 5 means the packet belongs to the node number 5 it accept the packet and process the packet okay means an address field is address field is worked as an identifier of the node in the ring topology the packet belong to the device accept the packet otherwise it reject the packet or forwarding to the ring now when we use the ring we use the ring in the token rings token ring networks in the past in the laboratories we make the token ring type of network ethernet networks so that in this that networks we use the ring topology okay let's discuss the, another topology that is the bus topology till now we discussed all the topologies this uh, ring our first mass topology uh, star topology ring topology they all are point to point means a dedicated point to point link between the device and the other devices or maybe with the central controller now bus topology is having a multi point connection with the devices multi point connection how here we have a one long cable here we have a one long cable this is the cable so this cable we connect the devices to link devices means one long cable we call that this one as a backbone cable okay nodes are connected to the bus cable by drop links or you can say drop lines and tapes means if you want to connect a device 
just add a tape to the cable backbone cable and connect a drop line with the device and the backbone cable the device or not will be the part of the bus network okay a drop line is a connection running between the device and the main cable and here the tap tap is a connector that either splice into the main cable or creates a contact with the metallic core of the backbone cable now in this way we can connect the number of devices in our fast topology here we see what is the main advantage as compared to the uh, topologies we discussed in the past here the main advantage if we see we need only a tap or means you can say a connector and a drop line to make a node with a part of the network means it is easy to install as compared to other topologies but with this advantage also have a big disadvantage what is the big disadvantage disadvantage here is difficulty in reconnection difficult reconnection okay or you can say the fault isolation or the fault isolation okay i will tell you only one point if the shrink is break here from here if the link is break from here this side devices and this side devices they are breaking two parts if this particular device send message to this device the message is not reached to that one okay because there is a link break is in the link in between so means our backbone cable is also a disadvantage in the bus topology if the backbone cable is break down the network becoming divided into two part and that is the main problem okay so with this disadvantage where we used or in the past where uh, this bus topology was working so we use this one in the traditional lan networks traditional lan Ethernet LAN, we use the bus topology in our laboratories or in uh, enterprise networks. We use this one here, means the signal travels along the backbone, some of its energy transformed into heat sometimes. So, to regenerate that one, we also use uh, the repeaters to make uh, to regenerate the energy of the signal up to the same level. Make sure, uh, or we can make. Uh, uh you can say uh restriction on the number of taps or the number of devices in our particular back one cable along some distances okay so this way we can make our devices very good now these are the four basic topologies we discussed first one is the mass topology star topology ring topology and bus topology now we are going to discuss about the next topology that is hybrid topology Hybrid topology is the combination of different topologies. Here, the different topologies means the basic topologies. Now, see a simple example. This hub is working as a central controller, and these two topologies, bus topology, bus one and bus two, are combined, and we make a hybrid topology. Here, this is becoming a hybrid. In the same way, we can also connect. Uh, to uh, we can say uh, like this one uh, this is a bus topology this is a bus and to this bus we connect a ring here a ring another bus or we can make a uh, here a uh, star topology by connecting a hub or repeater we can make here uh, another type of mass topology mass topology this way mass topology in this way we can Combine the basic topologies and make a big hard hybrid topology. Okay, so means from this the complete lecture you understand topology is representing the physical representation or the symmetrical representation how the links and the devices are connected to each other in our network. And in this way, we can uh, understand the working how the packets are traveling in the network. What are the problems a packet faced during his uh, journey in the network? We will understand them in the coming lectures, in the coming videos of physical layer, data link layer, and network layer. 
how a packet is originated from a device or a notch and it travels or completes his journey from the network and reaches to the destination. What are the problems a packet faced? What are the disadvantages a packet can face during the network breakdowns or some type of collisions or some type of access control type of problems? So to understand this one, I'm expecting you will clear the, your topic topology. If you know the physical representation, it is easy to understand for us the working in this networks. Okay, thank you.